guys how's going on my name is Louis and god bless every single one of you today is october 16 2023 and welcome to the grand spring news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and it says here explosion reported within the last few minutes near the town of Metula in northern israel now residents are being asked to shelter in place until further noticed and not too long ago i post this video right here guys so this link will be in the comments box if you guys want to check it out the u.s secretary of state evacuated to shelter from meeting at tel aviv after rockets launched by hamas now footage from outside the headquarter taken by traveling press once again continue praying for a lot of people out there guys Iran just put out a notice. Time is running out. All right, so let's see what's going on here, guys. This is the latest news coming out. And again, please share the video. Uh, once again, explosion reported. So there's a lot of uh, rockets being launched towards Tel Aviv and other parts of Israel. Now, give me a second here, guys. Someone just left a comment. And it says, no explosion heard in Matula. Suspected infiltration. I doubt it. Give me a second here. Hold on, let me go down here really quick, guys. All right, so this is where we left at. All right, so what's going on in this one? Okay, so this is a different story here. We're going to talk about this later on. Give me a second. Let me just focus on Israel. Um, okay, so this is where we left at. All right, so let, let's go up here really quick. So explosion reported just now in the Syrian capital of Damascus. Possible Israeli airstrike uh, ongoing. Well, uh, Israel is the only one that launches towards Israel. Uh, I mean, Israel is the only one that launches towards Damascus. So, uh, yeah, there's some stuff going on right now, guys. Here we go. Some more information. Israeli artillery has opened fire on southern Lebanon. It says here, Sinai Foundation announced the strike on the Rafah border today was on the Egyptian side of the border, not the Gaza side of the border. The same location as the 9th October, which is why the wall needed repaired earlier this week. All right, so some breaking news coming out right now. Give me a second. Let me just uh, zoom this uh, in. And it says, Foreign Minister of Turkey, Hakan, held a phone conversation today with the head of the Hamas political bureau. Now, this person, uh, to discuss the treatment and possible release of Israeli foreign O, oh, which are currently being held by the T group in the Gaza Strip. Now, guys, the number has gotten, I think the number has risen to 195. So instead of 150, it's almost 200. All right, so there's a lot of information coming out about those, uh, those people. Um, I don't want to say the name, but you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, give me a second here, guys. I just want to click on something here. I want to refresh the page. We got breaking news, breaking news. So we already know about this story here. Uh, UKR leader Mr. Z requested to visit Israel has been rejected. All right, so let me just see what's going on in this one here, guys. So 
So you got the Colombian foreign ministry ask the Israeli ambassador in Bogota to leave, to leave the country after Tel Aviv responds to statement by the Colombian leader regarding the war in Gaza. I'm receiving a lot of notification right now, guys. Give me a second here. I just got to make sure that uh, there's no videos, like disturbing videos and stuff. What in the world is this? Um, Look at that. Colombia expels Israel ambassador over the war. So we talked about this in our last video. Look at this one. This is happening in Jordan. This is not too far from Israel. And you guys already know that Jordan has opened the door to the US to bring some planes, some F-15, some F-35s. Is this the reason why pilots can fly in the air? Is this the reason why U.S. Uh, F6, F-15s and F-35s and F-16 can be operated? There's a lot of information coming out. Let me just share this video re uh, uh, really quick, guys. Give me a second. So there was a, a lunar eclipse. Not a lunar eclipse. There was a ring of fire solar eclipse. And now this is happening. I'm gonna have to take a screenshot of this. Give me a second here, guys. I believe all these are biblical. All right, so give me a second here, guys. I think we have some more information coming out. Pictures of the damaged house in the occupied city of Dirat after a rocket landed there. Mm. Wow. All right, so just give me one more second here, guys. So what's going on with this story? Turkish foreign minister spoke with Hamas leader over release of the... Let's see what's going on here, guys. I want to know about these 200. Uh, it's almost 200 now that they are holding. And there, there are some sleeping giant citizens. There are some sleeping giant citizens. All right, so this is gonna be a quick one here. So you have Turkey on Monday discuss the possibility of the release of the, you know who, I'm just gonna highlight it. during a phone call with Amas chief, all right? So during the phone call, you have foreign minister uh, discuss the latest development in Palace and the possibility of release of the innocents with the exile, uh, the foreign ministry said in the readout. So Turkey, you guys know, Turkey is a member of NATO and they don't like what's going on with the sleeping giant, the U.S. bringing their ships. So I think Turkey is trying to stop all these uh, events going on. Turkey is like, I stand with the U.S., but I also stand with Palest. Um, so I, I guess Turkey is trying to ease things down. And also Vladimir, the leader of the bear country, Russia, he's trying to ease, uh, ease things down too. So there's very important uh, phone calls going on today.
uh, scores of people were taken during Amma's unprecedented event on Israel on October the 7th. And we already know that. Now the event and the fighting sense have taken out more than 1,400 in the Holy Land. All right, so the Holy Land has vowed to destroy Amas and responded with a heavy bombing campaign on Aza that has taken around 2,700. Once again, Turkey capital confirmed Friday a Turkish Holy Land citizen who had moved to Holy Land with his family in 1972 had been taken out. Another was missing. Once again, the Turkish leader uh, advocate of the palace cause, he stepped up diplomacy with Western and regional powers after he offered to mediate, uh, mediate the restore peace. All right, so you have Turkey and Russia are trying to ease things down, but at the same time, the sleeping giant are sending a lot of ships. Um, give me a second here. Once again, there is a shelter in place. We have breaking news. The leader of the Sleeping Giant, the leader of the Sleeping Giant campaign will be launching an account on 4-5. What? What's that supposed to mean? Are they going to go after his platform? I don't get it. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I just want to show that uh, that's big breaking news coming out right now about the four or five. Um, You got some of these planes. Some more planes heading towards Israel. <clears throat> a lot of them is just to evacuate. You have some other planes there. Um, just doing training. Some planes just dropping off uh, uh, medical aid and other stuff. So you had Turkey is talking to Amas, and then you have Vladimir talking to Benjamin. So once again, there's a lot of stuff going on. This means that it's getting closer and closer to a ground invasion. And this is what they're trying to prevent. They don't want this thing to, uh, to escalate. So once again, the bear leader spoke to Netanyahu, briefed the Holy Land prime minister on talks with leaders of Persia, Egypt, Syria, and Palestinian authorities. So he's he's calling a lot of people right now. He's calling a lot of people. All right. Guys, make sure you check out my videos I posted today. We got more breaking news updates. Look at this. Wow. So you have France uh, says Lebanon must stay out of the Holy Land in Amma's war. All right. Um, all right. So we got tons of information here, guys. Let me just show you this really quick. I might have to uh, make a separate video of this one here, but uh, you have. Um, <clears throat> You have uh, Lebanon is also being evacuated. Now, we already talked about the uh, 2,000 additional troops 
And you know what? Let me click on this. We are approaching the zero hour. So let me just click on this really quick. We got to talk about this one here. All right, so Hezbo hits five Holy Land sites, double ultimatum from the Holy Land. Iran says we are approaching zero hour for region. You guys already know, I just mentioned time is running out. That's what Iran is saying. Time is running out. I got to give credit to, uh, to uh, Vladimir. Uh, he's uh, he's out there. He's making calls. He's making a lot of calls. He's talking to Benjamin. He's talking to Iran. He's talking to Syria. He's talking to all of them, uh, trying to ease things down. Uh, Turkey's doing the same thing too. So this is how you're supposed to do things, and you got to sit down and talk. But this here, that's a sleeping giant. That is a sleeping giant sending their stuff. And now uh, the sleeping giant Secretary of State is in a bunker. The Sleeping Giant is mobilizing an additional 2,000. So we already know this. Right? I'm just going to skip it. Uh, I already made a video. The link will be in the comments box if you guys want to check it out. All right. So 2,000 troops are being sent there. But these 2,000 troops are not going to be there for comeback duty. They're going to be deployed for medical assistance and to help out. But they're not going to be doing no uh, fighting. Um... Earlier, you have uh, Hezbollah claim responsibility for a series of strikes against the Holy Land position on the Lebanon Holy Land border, as well as the ATGM strikes on a Merkava tank. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, retire. Sleeping Giant General is warning Hezbollah entry into the war means the use of more than 130,000 rockets, which is enough to strike major Holy Land city. People, you know, people's going to say, wow, that's uh, crazy. Yeah, but uh, you need to read the scriptures because God has taken out many, many who tried to wipe out the Holy Land or gave warnings to them. Again, everybody thought that the Pharisees were unstoppable, Lewis. The Pharisees took out 30,000 Israeli and they took their ark. Yeah, and what happened to, uh, to the Philistines? Um, you know, their people in their town. They received tumors. All right. So that ark, uh, you know, the hand of God was on the Philistines uh, and the people in that town. So a lot of people received tumor. So they say, hey, we got to get rid of this ark. It's hurting the people and, uh, you know, return it. Uh, but return it with some gift. So they, they return the ark to the Israelites along with a golden tumor. I don't know. They just made a golden tumor. And they also made, uh, I think it's golden rat. So if you kind of think about it, you know, there was a plague. That fell on these people. And for them to mention rats, there's a possibility that the rats is the one that caused the event too. Since you guys already know the bombonic plague, uh, all that is because of the rat fleas and all that. So um, th uh, those area, uh, the Philistine town got hit uh, with a tumor and so many other things. All right. So again, uh, just because they have over 130,000 rockets does not make them unstoppable because god is much more bigger than that all right um persia said that the sleeping giant is already involved militarily in the holy land palace conflict the sleeping giant is already heavily involved in a conflict between the holy land and the palace and must be held accountable what are you talking about, Persia? You guys are the one who gave the green light. You started all this. You should be held responsible. But again, guys, it's, you know, it's all a game of chess. It's all politics. All right, so the sleeping giant is ramping up its firepower in the Middle East. 
responds to the biblical war between his ally, Holy Land, and Persia backed Amas militants amid fears of a regional conflict. Ask by Persia capital will get involved if the sleeping giant entered the fray. The foreign ministry spokesman uh, said Persia considered the sleeping giant already involved militarily in the conflict between the Holy Land and the palace. Now, the crimes of the Z regime are committed with the support of the sleeping giant and Washington must be held. You know what? All right. So Persia is saying that the sleeping giants are involved. All right. So I'm just going to skip this part right here, guys. Uh, this link will be in the comments box. I already post this. All right. So uh, if you guys want to check it out, this is the one right here. Give me a second. Uh, all right. So that's the one right there. You see that? It's on the left hand side. This is the video right here. It's, it's been posted. Let me just refresh it. It's posted, I think, two hours ago. Yeah, almost two hours ago. So that video has been posted. All right, so I'm, I've been uh, posting videos already today. So that link will be in the comments box. And also, if you guys want to check out this video here, I also shared this video too. So both of these link will be in the comments box. This one, that's the US secretary and the bomb shelter. And then this one right here, the 2000 US troops being deployed 70,000 uh holy land citizens are being evacuated all right so once again the links will be in the comments box let's go back to war news 24 7. i want to see what's going on with the evacuation of uh of hezbollah oh no lebanon so here we go they are evacuating lebanon so this is something new here so as the crisis in Gaza, the West Bank, and the Holy Land continues to unfold, the security situation in the region is becoming increasingly volatile. You have the British nationals in Lebanon should report their presence to the FCDO via the link on travel advice British media reported. So it says here, you have the FCDO with a travel advisory advises against travel to Lebanon, including areas south of the Litani River or Litani River. The British embassy has ordered members of his staff and their families to leave the country immediately. Finally, Canada asked its citizens to leave. Canadian and Lebanon should uh, consider leaving the country while commercial flights remain available. Canada uh, Foreign Minister said Swiss announced on Monday that it had suspended flights to and from Beirut due to border tensions between the Holy Land and Lebanon. The suspension of flights applies in any case until October the 28th. Uh, pending a reassessment of the situation for flights from the rich were canceled on 17-19-24 and a 26. Uh oh. Hold on. What is this? Train how we fight. You have the USS Ford uh, carrier strike group mission is deterring aggressions and supporting security and stability around the world Whew. yep that's why you have vladimir talking to those lands saying hey they out there the u.s is out there um don't try to do anything Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Let's 
See that? It's almost go time. It's almost go time. Um, they are training out there. They are really training. Wow. Those are pictures that, uh, again, I missed those. Um, so that's on Twitter. I'm going to share the picture on Twitter if you guys want to check it out. Um, so it's go time. Almost go time. BB to Persia and Hellsbo. Don't test us you will pay a heavy price that's uh that's coming out from benjamin so at the opening session of the naset winter conference benjamin spoke today expressing his certainty that holy land will reach the final victory against amas which he described as a as a new version of you know what i'm gonna skip that name so there are many questions about the disaster that uh, befell us 10 days ago. We will negotiate everything to the end. The Holy Land Prime Minister initially said, adding that we are united for one goal, victory. We will win because it is, uh, it is about our very existence in this space, which has many dark forces. Many dark forces. The Bible mentioned the name Dark Forces in 1 John, I believe, and also mentions uh, Antichrist spirits to come to the world. So you have Amas as part of the axis of evil. You guys uh, remember the translation of Amas, violent. Uh, I know some people is like, Louis, that's not true. That's not true. It's, it's not translated to that. Well, again, guys, uh, according to biblical scholars and uh, a uh, translation, when it comes to the Hebrew language, uh, they agree that violent is translated to that name right there. Um, Amas is part of the axis of evil composed of Persia and Hezbollah. They want to return the Middle East to the abyss. Now, many people in the world understand who Holy Land is up against. They understand that Amas is a new version of the, I'm going to skip that name, and just as the world united to defeat the you-know-what, so we must unite to defeat Amas. In fact, he again warned both Persia and Hellsbo, saying, don't test us in the north. Don't test us in the north. Don't repeat the mistake you made. The price you pay will be much heavier. Be careful. Man, those are very powerful words. So the Holy Land army, who sent a warning to Hellsbo, uh after the battles that took place yesterday, Sunday, uh, October 15, 2023, on the border with Lebanon. If Hellsbo tries to test us, the response will be powerful, said the IDF representative in the regular announcement of citizens. And that's where we are right now. And I heard, uh, I heard this yesterday too. They have a live broadcast. Uh, it's on Twitter. I will try to share the information if you guys want to listen to their live broadcast. It's the uh, IDF responding uh, to many questions. All right, so let me go back on Twitter because I think we have more information coming out. All right, so we do have more information here. Look at this. Look at this map. Look at this map. Man, are you serious? 
The city of Tel Aviv in Central Holy Land is under rocket strike by Amas in the Gaza Strait for at least the fourth time in the last 24 hours. That is huge. Swiss International Airlines announced earlier today, by the way, this was posted two minutes ago, um, announced earlier today that they will be suspending any further flights to Lebanon, capital of Beirut, until at least October 28th, uh, due to the security situation in the region. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. I got some more videos coming up, so I'm posting videos left and right to different channels. And the links that I posted today, the video I posted today, the links will be in the comments box. Make sure you share it, and make sure you hit the notification bell. Uh, last couple of days, our view were skyrocketing, and now it just it seems like uh, they put it under the rug again. So, again, when you talk about... Uh, World events related to Bible prophecy. Uh, it, it is a red alert to the world. The same world that uh, has crucified our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But uh, again, Jesus rose on the third day and told the people that he's coming back. And that go out and make disciples and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are seeing it. We are living it. We are witnessing Bible prophecy. Once again, guys, the Holy Land. Uh, shelter in place for many many uh holy land citizens out there so i would keep an update on this story uh, i got some more videos coming up again for those of you that want to give your life to christ you can email me my email is in the description box me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path and that's the path of our lord and savior jesus christ for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.